Come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with corn and soybean experts about best practices in pest control, ag issues, and how growers can get more from every acre. All you need is a minute. In this episode of The Minute, we're traveling to Atwood, Kansas, where I'm talking with Dr. Randy Simonson, a division agronomist with Helena Chemical, and Blaine Ginther, owner and territory manager of Surefire Ag Systems. Our topic? Applying at-plant insecticides and starter fertilizers together when you plant your corn. Andy, thanks for sitting down and talking with us today. Can you tell us some of the benefits of using a starter fertilizer? Yeah, the purpose of a starter fertilizer is to help the plant get up and going. In the cold, wet soil that we often plant our corn into, uh, the plant has a hard time taking up phosphorus. I like to put in some sulfur and zinc to help that phosphorus take uptake, but um, I really like using a starter, either two by two or in furrow. And using that in furrow application, why is it so important going forward with the plant? Well, like I said, it helps uh, early on, early growth, but it also carries on later on. It seems like whatever you do for at planting time can affect the rest of the season, and it will increase yields. And I've seen in my research a 10 to 15 bushel increase in yields. That's pretty significant. It's very good. So why would a grower choose to use an insecticide that mixes with fertilizer? Well, putting an insecticide on with the infertile fertilizer is a good idea. It will control a rootworm larva, which is complements the uh, rootworm resistant trait quite well. We do know that we've seen uh, corn rootworm resistance from the trait, and Having two modes of action is very beneficial to reduce that likelihood of having resistance. Uh, the second thing is that we have secondary insects that are cause problems. And the capture LFR is good insurance against those secondary insects, primarily white grubs, wire worms, seed corn maggots, because when the, the farmer has those problems, they're, although they're generally minor, there is no rescue program for those problems. And so the farmer's got gonna have reduced um, stand, reduced yields, maybe in some cases even have to replant the field. So it's really cheap insurance. And what are some other reasons Capture LFR is such a good choice for a tank mix? Well, it goes into solution well with uh, a phosphorus fertilizer that we use for starters. Compatibility is very good with fertilizers. Uh, there's no problem for farmers that are putting it into their system. And I know stability is an issue for a lot of growers. How does Capture LFR perform that way? It's very stable with starter fertilizers and doesn't fall out, uh, gonna stay in solution and uh, it's gonna move through the system well, not plug nozzles and things like this. And so it's pretty uh, nice for the farmer. Randy, thanks for showing us all those benefits and options for growers. You're welcome. Hey Blaine, good to see you. Hi Jake. So we were just talking to Dr. Simonson about the product and the process. I wanted to find out from you about the equipment. Yes. What's Surefire's mission statement? Surefire's mission statement is to provide custom, compatible, and complete solutions for the application of crop inputs. And how does Capture LFR fit with that? Fits very well, like a glove, I think. Uh, we have a lot of experience at Surefire applying products in the furrow, on the seed, and uh, you know that's the goal with Capture LFR is to is to get it down there accurately in the seed trench. And when we're talking with growers, when you first make contact with them or a dealer, what do you want to find out from them? Well, there are a list of questions that we need to have the answer to in order to create that system. So you're saying there's no cookie cutter solution? There's no cookie cutter solution, no. You have to deal with a lot of different variables geography, size, location, even platforms. How do you deal with that? Uh, when it comes to the platform side of things, um, we work with most of the major platforms that exist out there. The Trimble, the Ag Leader, the John Deere systems. Uh, we have a nationwide network of dealers that we work with and communicate with on a regular basis. What do you have for a grower who isn't using one of the platforms you mentioned? In those instances, we use our commander controller. It's the heart of that type of system. Well, thanks for talking with us today. Thank you, Jake, I appreciate it. Today we delivered two experts, Blaine Ginther and Dr. Randy Simonson, in one episode. 
It's a heck of a tank mix, kind of like uh, applying two products in one pass. Well, that's it for today from Atwood, Kansas. This is Jake Turner reminding you to be safe out there, and I'll see you down the road when you have a minute.